Hello and good afternoon. I'm out here in the patio. I'm giving you a weekly garden tour today or patio tour today. So I'm just coming out here. It's a pretty nice day outside. There's a lot of bright light. I'm just going to walk through and show you all the containers and see what the progress is. It's pretty much more of a progress video of what's going on um, in the patio. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and you guys can see what's going on. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start actually from this end where my tomato plant is. This is for my tomato grow off challenge. Um, it's gotten pretty big now. I have to actually come out here and just tie this up real quick. I haven't. Um, these are some red spinaches that I've uh, planted from my country back in Bangladesh, and they have started sprouting all around the base of this uh, tomato plant. Um, I'm just utili utilizing the uh, square footage here in this. Um, this container. Uh, so that's what's going on in this particular uh, planter. Um, over here my lemons. I do have a bunch of little lemons coming up. There's some big ones. Um, there's a couple of big ones right here and let me see. There's one back there. There's a couple hidden in there too but I don't want to go moving it around too much because I do knock off a couple of uh, little of the lemons and I don't want to do that. Um, another thing I want to show you guys is look. If you come around this way um, my Juliet tomatoes, this one, I don't know if this is how big it's supposed to be, but this is pretty nice and ripe right here. So I might go ahead and pluck that off, um, unless it gets bigger. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's a pretty good size. Um, I do have a bunch of tomatoes coming out here. There's some here. Um, as you saw last week, I did go ahead and trim these tomato plants severely. Um, I went crazy with uh, trimming them. I took off a lot of the leaves so I can get a lot of airflow, and it's kind of bare, and I kind of like it. I was, you know, like I was doing from the beginning of this project um, to single stem them, and that's kind of what I'm doing is pretty much single stemming them and taking off all these little um, extra leaves that I don't think, um, they just, they're just too, uh, they create a jungle, <laughs> and it's just too many leaves, and I don't think it needs like that many leaves to do what it needs to do, and all that energy is actually right now going into producing the fruits, the flowers, uh, the fruits and flowers, and there's a bunch of fruits and fl like flowers up there as well. Um, so I'm gonna keep the ones up here. I need to actually stake that this one because I need to get my um, little ladder and kind of stake this one. Because you can kind of see that it's really high way up there. <laughs> Not even sure how long this one is. Um, moving on, I have my peppers and these are my I think the giant Marconi peppers and let me see yeah look at that that's very nice um, this is I think what was this one the cayenne pepper so I do see a couple of cayennes here um, these are really nice see how big these are oh here's here's a big plump one look at that that's really cool and there's a big one right there these are the um, sweet Italians um, these are the serrano peppers how cool, how nice is that you guys um, also I don't have any bells on here yet I do have some flowers on the sweet uh, banana um, these Thai chilies there's some um, there's some fruit on here some peppers going on here um, I did tell you guys last time that I moved my oregano plant to the front up here that little pot back here I moved it up here in the front so it could get light and it's starting to perk up a little bit whereas before it was just completely like the leaves were completely like dying down there and it was just a mess um over here is a determinant tomato and it's my patio determinant and there's just like maybe three fruits on here there are a couple of flowers but i don't see them blooming or fruiting um <clears throat> this one is the yellow canary um so we did like i don't know if you can see hold on See this one? I already took off a fruit from this one last week when my family was here uh, for dinner. Um, so everybody was able to try one. Um, so these are what they look like now. Um, I'll probably go ahead and wait for these to get a little bit bigger to go ahead and harvest. Um, the other ones, my Sweet 100s, I do not see any fruit on here. All I see is a bunch of leaves and I did cut down uh, severely. I pretty much made this like very bare. So I don't know if it was the right thing to do or not, um, but it is quite leggy and there was a lot of growth on here. And I went ahead and I cut all this back, all this leaf back, so I can get these to, um, you know, just be easier. Um, but I don't see any flowers forming. <laughs> like I didn't see any flowers, just all this 
you know, all these leaves, that's all it was. So I don't know how long sweet 100s take to fruit, but that one's just growing and I don't see any fruit on that. Um, this particular one is that same one, the yellow canary. So there are a couple of um, flowers right here, some flowers up here. So there's a bunch of flowers on the canary. So I, I kept the top parts and there's a bunch up there as well. Um, I don't know if you can see those flowers way up there. See? So that one's really nice. Um, strawberry plants, they're all right. <laughs> I'm not having the best of luck with my strawberries. I don't know. They're, see these? Look at this. See? They kind of get kind of yucky and I don't know it's, what's going on with these. I mean, their, um, their growth is fine. The plants seem fine. I don't know, but... You know, there's some over here, but some of them are like just dying, so I don't even know what's going on with that. My um, green onions are not doing very well. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Little baby shards are coming up right here, and these shards um, are pretty big right now, and they do require a lot of water. And one thing I notice is these planter boxes, they dry up pretty quick, so I need to water these quite constantly um, to make sure that they don't like, um, they don't tip over and uh, wilt. Um, that's one thing with like leafy uh, greens that if they don't get enough water, they do um, begin to fall over and wilt. So that's what was um, happening with the shards. Um, if I move over here, I'm gonna show you this bed right here where I have my okra. Um, okra is growing really nicely. I have these that are uh, taking off. Um, there was a bean plant that was growing here that I transplanted to one that has all the beans in it. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty much marigolds. There's a couple of um, eggplants in here, stray. These are uh, okra plants as well, but you see some stuff are just eating, like these little bugs or something, are just eating away those little baby leaves and just having trouble trying to keep these okras, you know, um, from not being devoured, so... These kind of made it, so these are doing okay. I mean, it took them a while to get to like these couple of leaves um, because they were in this particular state and it was just really hard for them to uh, sprout new leaves because something was completely eating them. My rosemary is back there. Um, these over here, let me show you. Oops, somebody's car. Um, these over here also are doing good. The Cherokee purple, we did harvest one. Um, there's a couple more that are turning. See how nice those are? And I love how like they're in like clusters, which is really nice. And they look very pretty. So got some there and I have some down here. So there's like, um, there's about like five to six little flowers per, um, per flat, like little cluster, like little bloom branch, but not all of them bloom. I noticed some of them bloom early, some of them bloom later on, and some don't bloom at all. So that's what's happening with these. Um, these are just growing. They're not fruiting or anything yet. They're just uh, growing and I'm not sure. I think they're okay. They're just growing. They're not bothering me. So I'll leave them, I'll leave them alone. More cherries up here, or strawberries up here. And I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know what's going on with my strawberries. So this one's not bad. This one's looking nice. See that? This guy's nice. And there's a marigolds up there. Okay, um, so in here I want to show you guys. I planted some taro or taro, T-A-R-O. <laughs> That's um, a vegetable. That it's like a root vegetable. It grows underground. So I planted like four of them, and they're in here. And these are coming up, which is nice little sprouts. So these cut their leaves look like elephant ears. Um, but there's going to be taros growing underneath, kind of like potatoes. So the tops will have leaves, the bottoms will have the taro. So hopefully, um, I see some results with this one. Um, I will be cleaning that up and this up, and I will be taking out these broccolis. I've never gotten around to eating them, but they just flowered, and they just look nice. That's why I just kept them on there. Gardenias are doing okay. The heat, I think, is kind of, um, bothering them or something. They kind of wilt, but I do need to come out here and water them. 
I do have blooms. There's a bunch of blooms coming out, but I do need to clean this out. Probably I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut back on a lot of the leaves, but I don't know if I should do that now or just wait for it. Um, peppermint is doing really well. They're growing. They're thriving. They've been doing really well since um, they started in the spring. Uh, my wisteria has been climbing way up there. I, I've never... That is so high that I can't even, like, reach it with my ladder. I have to step up on the, um, like, put one foot on the rail just for some support. I know that's not safe. <laughs> I probably need to get, like, a bigger ladder um, or taller ladder is, is what I need to do to be able to reach, like, the wisteria plant that's way up there. Um, so I need to go ahead and twine that on that pole because the whole purpose of having that pole up there was so the wisteria can continue to climb crawl along and all that so that's what <laughs> what's going on over there i'm getting around to it i've just been super duper busy but i'm getting around to it um back here i just have my basil and obviously this plant which is uh which is actually shooting off oh this one is actually shooting off some new leaves down here which is nice i love how these new leaves are they're so pretty and bright green and look at these leaves they're just gorgeous aren't they um so yeah i love that one um, this is the bean that I transplanted over here. So it's taking off. It's like already got itself twined up up to here. Um, I don't see any beans on here yet. I just see a bunch of growth and I don't know how quickly beans produce. It's my first time actually planting a bean plant. So this is like a Kentucky Wonder and some other beans that I threw in there. So I don't even know like um, which type of bean it is until they actually start producing, so couldn't really tell you. This one, I'm not even sure if it's a cucumber or a pumpkin or something, but or some type of squash, but it's it's growing, which is nice. It's coming up pretty healthy um, after I moved it from back there. Now back there, I do have a couple of plants. I'm not even sure what those are. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I did throw in some seeds back there, so once they grow, I think those are beans as well. Let me see. They look like bean leaves. They could be beans. Um, I think I probably tossed in a couple more beans down there as well. Um, my squash plant fell over, so I have to probably get that out. I don't know. Um, yeah, I have to get that one out because that guy is just like tipped over and not doing so well. I don't think. I don't know. He's back there. <laughs> Um, over here is my Malabar spinach. I never got around to cutting this guy. I thought I was going to cut this squash plant, but um, he's still like fighting. He's still trying to produce uh, some baby leaves right there. He's trying to come back up. I'm going to leave him. This guy is also tipped over and, you know, I took off some of these little dead leaves that were on these um, branches or these, uh, what are these? Well, uh, I guess they're branches, <laughs> whatever. Um, but you know what I mean. Um, took off some of these dead leaves. and um, So there's some fresher leaves now. And the other leaves had, like, I think water damage, like this one. Like water damage or something. So I did go ahead and go in and cut the other day. Um, I do have to come back in here, as you can see, like, clean up some of this stuff right here. Like these leaves. So I do have to take all those out. Um, going over here, I transplanted my Malabar spinach from that little pot, that blue pot. I put it in here, so hoping that they will start climbing up this trellis and it will just be easier for me to um, train them this way where they go up this way versus me trying to put like a tomato cage in. Um, I had that like tomato cage on that blue pot where the Malabar spinach was and um, that was just kind of tough because they were all like congested in there and they were just all clustered in there together so i hope this gives it more room and we will be able to um, get some malabar spinach now this particular pathos i am not even sure why this is bowing is it because it's too heavy or what i don't even know why that is but i'm gonna fix that on. oops i just noticed that today and um yeah so I just bought it to this middle um, bamboo stick right here. So, okay, I don't know. I have to go back there and fix it. I don't know why that pole is like kind of bending over. Um, over here, 
Um, I threw in a couple of pumpkin seeds because I had a couple of pumpkin seeds here which I knocked over and broke due like when I was like planting these melon bars. So I was really upset about that and just really hating myself at the moment. <laughs> but I did throw in a couple of pumpkin seeds in here and I think I see a couple of sprouts coming up right there. And there's a, you know, there's a couple right here, I think. So there's uh, some stuff coming up. There's one right here. There's a little seed right there. You see that? That's coming up. So they're in here. I threw a bunch of more cucumber and pumpkins in here. So, you know, whoever survives. Oh, look, there's a flower that bloomed. How pretty is that? That little yellow one. You see it back there? Nice. Um, I had a whole big issue with those... Um, caterpillar lopers and they were eating up all my plants um on in this particular bed so i think i got rid of enough like i got rid of them as best as i could and as of right now these um cucumber plants are surviving i think this is a cucumber or some type of squash or whatever but they're coming back up they're climbing and they're growing which is good which uh, makes me happy because i was kind of devastated that you know like they were eating all the little like little cucumbers that I had back here so I had to keep reseeding and every time like the little shoots would come up they would just attack them and eat them and it was just really like putting me back and we're already like in May right now and I'm like okay come on seriously <laughs> it, it takes you know it puts you back a few weeks when um, a plant dies or um, it just doesn't grow or something eats them up, you know, something happens or you knock them, I mean, like I did with the pumpkins, like I knocked them over and I broke them. So, um, they were about this tall and I was trying to move around some of the dirt and I knocked them over and uh, I broke them. So I have to be, be careful when I do that. That's why I'm not messing with these. I'm not trying to stake them up. I'm just letting them grow. So once they get a little bit bigger, okay. then I'm going to go ahead and mess with these. Okay guys, so that was just a quick overview of the garden tour today, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am a little out of breath because I've just uh, walked around the whole darn thing, and um, so that's what's going on. Um, I will be kind of um, busy like the next couple of days and stuff. We'll have like some more guests and stuff here at our house. Um, so this is why I'm doing it um, today and just uh, having it out there for you guys so you kind of know what is going on. It hasn't changed that much, I don't think, my garden. But there are some things um, that have grown. Um, like I said, I did like lighten these tomato cages like it cut back on a lot of the leaves so it doesn't look like a jungle because it was getting really crowded and dark and I was like okay this is just overwhelming <laughs> I did go ahead and go crazy on taking out a lot of those leaves so um anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week on another garden tour okay bye